Wubin makes some really nice premium, compact, bright EDC flashlights. And today we're going to be taking a look at their X-Series lineup. And if you do like any of these flashlights you see here today, I definitely encourage you to take a look at their website. You can use my link in the video description. They have a really nice sale going on right now where you can save a pretty good amount of money. Here we have the XO, the X1, the X2, and the newest addition to the family, the X3. Now all the flashlights that Wubin makes is made of a solid premium alloy, except for the X3, and I'm going to tell you about that in just a minute because it's pretty special. Now I've already done a full review on the XO and the X3, and if you guys want to check out what I thought about those, you can see that from the link in the video description. Now I will also be doing a full review on the X1 and the X2, but for today this is going to be an overview of the whole X series. Now really quick, the X3 is pretty much the only one that's not made of a full aluminum alloy. The body of the X3 is made of a PVC because this charges wirelessly. The only thing that's aluminum on this flashlight is the head. And the other really cool thing about this flashlight is the fact that the head actually swivels. So you can use it to clip it onto your book bag or something so you don't have to hold on to it and have it light your way. Or if you want to hold on to it, you can swivel around the head and then hold it like a regular flashlight. It's pretty cool. I will be doing a brightness test and you're definitely going to want to stick around for that because like I said before, these little flashlights can put out some serious power especially this X1. You're definitely going to want to see that. So first off, we have the Wubin XO. Again, this is a full solid metal flashlight. Everything on here is made of aluminum. This top button here flips up to expose the little USB Type-C charging port. It is magnetic, so it kind of pulls that back into place when you're not using it. It's got a little LED on the top here to let you know when it's charging, when it's done charging, and what level the charge is actually at. It's got a really cool uh, contrast between the white and the blue. It also comes in a couple other different colors. It also has a couple of different LEDs. There's an Osram and a Samsung version. The max lumen output for the Osram is 1100 lumens. It also has a couple little slots all the way around the flashlight where you can put some tritium tubes so it'll light up even when the light is not on. It also has a magnetic bottom so you can easily clip this to something metal. Uh, maybe if you're working in your car you can use it to you know illuminate the engine base so you can work hands free. Really nice. It does have some good weight to it. It uses one 18350 lithium battery. It takes about an hour and a half to charge using a 5 volt 1 amp charger and it's got about a 410 foot beam distance. It's got seven different modes of operation, SOS, strobe, moon, low, medium, high, and turbo. This can last up to 130 hours on one single charge using moon mode. It's got an IP68 waterproof and dustproof rating and it can stay underwater about six feet for up to an hour. It's got an impact rating up to five feet and it weighs about 82 grams or 2.89 ounces with the battery. This is one of my favorite flashlights because of how many lumens it actually puts out for the size it is and that magnetic bottom really comes in handy. And then here we have the big daddy, the X1. This one has a max output of 12,000 lumens and has a 994 foot beam distance. It's also coming in at 5.06 inches long, 2.20 inches wide, and 1.10 inches deep. Now this one again, just like the other ones, has an all metal design, which is really nice. Feels very solid in the hand. Here we have the power button in the middle here with the little LED to let you know the charging and battery status. It's got those slots for the tritium. It does not have a magnetic bottom. This one also has a couple different mounting options. It has a belt clip and you can also get a bike mount. This also has a built-in waterproof fan to reduce the temperature. It also has a stable illumination for 1.7 hours at 3000 lumens. You can also charge this in just two hours using the USB type C port, which is covered for waterproofing. It also uses two 21700 batteries with a total capacity of 4800 milliamp hours with up to 220 hours of battery life. It also has an IP55 water resistance rating. 
and it also has these three large LEDs. Wait until you see how much area this flashlight can light up. Now the X1 has seven different modes of operation. It has moon, low, medium, high, turbo, SOS, and strobe. And then here we have the X2. Again, it's got that same all metal design. This one actually has three LEDs to give you a wider beam. This one again has that nice blue button that lifts up to expose the USB Type-C charging port and that little LED to show you the charging status. It's also magnetic to hold it down. It is still pretty nice and compact, feels nice in the hand. It's measuring in at 3.35 inches long, 1.54 inches wide, and 0.79 inches deep, and it only weighs 4.6 ounces. This one does not have a magnetic bottom, but it does have a little belt clip on the back. It's got a max of 2,500 lumens, and it's got a beam distance of 479 feet. It uses two 14500 2000 milliamp hour batteries, and it can last up to 80 hours on low mode and charge fully in about three hours. It also comes with six lighting modes, low, medium, high, turbo, strobe, and SOS. It's got an IP68 water resistance rating. It also has those slots in case you want to use some of those tritium tubes. It's got a type 3 hard anodized finish for excellent wear resistance and can be seen up to 479 feet. And this is the Osram version. And lastly, that brings us to this little special guy here. This is the Wubin X3. This is the only flashlight that does not have an all aluminum body because the only way to charge this is wirelessly. Now it does come with a wireless charging power bank as well that you can use to charge up the flashlight as well as other devices. And it also doubles as a little camp light, which is really cool. This is also very small and compact in the hand, as you can see. It's nice and light. It does have two different LEDs in this version. It's got a white and a red, but you can also get them in dual whites. And it also has a really cool LED display that shows you how many lumens are being used and what your battery level's at. It also glows in the dark so you can find it when the light is not on and it's also got a magnetic bottom so you can also clip this onto something metal for hands free. And it also has the belt clip on the back. Now like I mentioned before this one does have a rotating head that rotates 180 degrees so you can easily clip it onto a book bag or something so you can illuminate your way without having to even hold this. It's got a 100 day battery life using the including charging box. But if you just want to use the flashlight, it can last up to 30 days in low mode. It weighs 70 grams. And for the configuration I have here with the one white LED, it's got a max of 700 lumens. But like I said before, you can get the two white LEDs that offers a max of 1200 lumens. It's got six operating modes, low, medium, high, turbo, strobe, and SOS. And you don't have to charge this in the included power bank, you can use any wireless charger you want. Now let me show you what each one of these flashlights can do. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the brightness differences between all four of the flashlights. I'm only going to show you the highest setting and the turbo setting. If you guys want to see more in-depth testing, then just watch the review for each one of the flashlights. So first we're going to start off with the Wubin XO. Again, this is on high. And then turbo. And then here we have the X1 on high. <laughs> you can tell a huge difference right away. And then here we have turbo. Really lights up the area. And then here we have the X2 on high. And then turbo. It's pretty bright. And then here we have the X3 on high. And then turbo. And as you can see, the XO and the X3 are more of a focused beam, and the X1 and the X2 are a lot wider.
I absolutely love these flashlights and I know you guys will too. They're so bright, they're so small. They have something for absolutely everybody. They're very well constructed and they're very affordable. So again, if you guys think you might wanna pick one of these up, head over to their website right now because again, they do have a sale going on and you can use my offer code HITECHCHECK to get 10% off. And the X3 is so new, it's still on Kickstarter. So if you want it, hurry over there right now Well, you can still pick it up at the discounted price. So again, I will be putting links in the video description for each one of these flashlights. And if you want to know a little more about the XO and the X3, make sure you check out my full reviews. If you guys found the video helpful at all, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.